So just before we get started, I'm on a slightly smaller keyboard, so I'm gonna move my middle C from here to here. And that's because I wanna access some of the lower notes. So when you're learning this on your own piano or keyboard, just for reference, this note here, that's middle C. And just another quick thing, if you play along with the track, it'll probably sound out of tune, which is because the sample they use is tuned down 0.6 semitones, which basically means that a C in the sample would fall in between these two notes. Um, it's not a C, it's not a B, it's somewhere in the middle. So if you play along and it sounds out of tune, that's the reason why. But anyway, into the tutorial, I'll teach you the easy way to play this first, which is playing just the piano part, and then we can add in the bass line as well, which makes it a little bit more difficult. So starting with the piano. That's our first phrase, left hand, playing these three notes. Then we're playing this chord, and then this chord. is on for all of that and if that's a little bit awkward to play in the left hand you can play with your right hand thumb instead like that but I prefer to play with the left hand so into the next phrase okay and then actually this time I'm gonna play the third note with my right hand thumb and that's because when we add the bass line later it's way easier to play this way so these three notes and then these two chords so from the beginning a bit slower but I'm holding the pedal again for all of that so pedal pedal and that's the main piano riff so if you want to add in the bass line now it changes the way we play it a little bit so the whole thing looks like this So what we're doing is we're adding a note or two at the end of each phrase. So the first one, we play this as normal. Then we have this A playing this. So the first one, we play the start as normal. But then we add this A before we hit the B flat and go into it. And this is why I said it would be easy to play this with the right hand thumb because we're going to go. And that's a lot easier than crossing that left hand over, like that, so. Okay, and then the second one is after we play these chords, we play going back into the start. And I'm hitting the C twice. And what's important here is making sure you hit the E with your thumb so that you can cross over with a little finger to get back into that. Like that. Now I've listened to the sample in extreme detail and I think he's actually playing something like somewhere in between that and because that first note doesn't sound quite like a B, it doesn't sound quite like a C. I think it's somewhere right in the middle of B and C. So it's kind of preference you could play I like to play is. So it's kind of up to you, but it's essentially the same, just making sure you land that thumb on the E. So you can go like that. I prefer the sound of the C, but you could play with the B. I'll show you both. But yeah, just making sure you hit that E with the thumb and then crossing it over. All right, so I'll play the whole thing a little bit slowly and count it through and play along if you want. One, two, three, four. So there you go, that's the main riff from the song. Thank you very much for watching and I really hope you found this useful.